My name is Megan May and I'm a board certified oncology pharmacist. I practice at Baptist Health Lexington in Lexington, Kentucky. And I work in the outpatient cancer center and I see both solid tumors and hematologic malignancy patients. One thing that we do at my institution is a clinical pharmacist is in charge of educating all patients that are starting CLL treatment. We educate our patients that are starting oral agents or IV agents or the combination of them. With our clinic, we do in-person educations with our patients and that session usually takes about an hour. Of course, if a patient does have a transportation barrier, we are available to do the education session by telehealth. However, we always prefer to do it in person since there is so much information, it is so valuable for the pharmacist to be in person with the patient and their caregivers in order to make sure all the information is fully understood. In that session, the pharmacist goes over the indication for the management of CLL. We talk about how to take the medication. So if that's an IV treatment, then we talk about the frequency and how long they're gonna have to be in our infusion center. We also talk about general terms about our infusion center, what it's like to be there. What are some of the um, options we provide for snacks and drinks, just to try to make the patient feel more comfortable before they start their treatment. And then for oral agents, we go over the dosing and the frequency for how often a patient is to take the medication. Other things we go over during our education session are side effects. So we talk about what could happen while you're taking one of these medications and we make sure the patient knows what to do if it happens. So I tell my patients, my goal is for you to know if you have a side effect at home, what to do. When do you call the clinic? When do you go to the emergency room? Or when is it okay to take an over-the-counter product to help with those side effects? Those are all the important things the patient needs to walk away with when they leave our education session. During my education sessions with patients that are getting CLL treatment, I know that session with our clinical pharmacist can be very overwhelming because of the amount of information we go over in just that one hour period. Because of that, I do provide patients with written materials that they can take home so they can read over it again and any of their caregivers can also read over it. For our clinic, we get our information from the collaborative efforts of HOPA, ONS, ACCC, and ENCODA they have created chemotherapy sheets for both oral agents and IV treatments. These sheets do a really nice job using layman's terms and breaking down the side effects that could happen with each of these medications. It also goes over safe handling precautions and bodily fluid precautions when receiving treatment for CLL. Other websites I use as well to provide written materials include chemocare.com, or oncolink.com. They also have great materials on the different agents that we use for CLL treatments. One thing we do within our clinic is when a patient comes for education, we do make a personalized calendar for each patient. So we tailor this calendar to the specific regimen that the patient is getting, including the dates that they either need to start the treatment or if they're getting an IV infusion, the dates that they're gonna be coming into our clinic. We also include monitoring parameters, such as when they need to get labs done with these regimens as well, just so they understand the full picture of what is to come with their treatment.